great moments are born from great opportunity. You shouldn't have any doubt in your mind about what you're supposed to do tonight and about how you're supposed to do it. This is your time. Now, I don't want them to gain another yard. We gotta go out there and we gotta take it. Take their game and you shove it right back in their face. That's how winning is done. Team is something you belong to. Something you feel. Something you have to earn. If we don't come together, it's over. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life. You won't regret walking out, letting them get the best of it. I'll ask you one last time. To be the best that you can be. Play like champions. Win. It's about heart. It's about who can go out there and play the hardest. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. I don't care what the scoreboard says. At the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die, willing to take the hits, who's going to win that itch. Let me tell you something, you don't let anything, nothing, come between us. On this team, we fight. We shut them down. something themselves they want to tell you you can't do it if you want something go get it period he told the guy he said when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe then you'll be successful I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe then you'll be successful and I'm here to tell you number one that most of you say you want to be successful but you don't want it bad you just kind of want it you don't want it badder than you want to party you don't want it as much as you want to be cool you most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep some of you love sleep more than you love success and I'm here to tell you today if you're going to be successful you've got to be willing to give up sleep you got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. I got to breathe it, I got to eat it, I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard, and you can have whatever it is you want. Thank you, guys.
Look up, Brock. You're in the end zone. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. Now I can't do it for you. This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day was like a privilege. Did the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world? And you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point your fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm going to show you how great I am. In you, you the people have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure.
I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Bad dude. Bad. Fast. 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 Last night, I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. Incredible. And you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. I'm going to show you how great I am. You can't afford not to be you. You're going through some hard times. It has not come to stay. It has come to pass. It takes guts to pick yourself up. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible. And many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. I mean, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, you start fighting back. If the life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you are. It's necessary if you want it, you gotta go into action. You gotta be willing to experiment. You gotta be willing to fail and to succeed. Here's your dream manifested. No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right? It's worth it. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again. And that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. And that it's hard. Easy is not an option. And when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not.